Hey survivors and thrivers. I have a playlist of videos called The Narcissist and Envy where I have talked about this before but I haven't talked about it for a while so I would like to discuss it more in this video. What I discuss in this video can also be applied to gang stalkers as I do believe that they are narcissistic at the very least. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. We have a Reddit community where survivors and thrivers can share their experiences and knowledge. If you are interested in being a part of this community, you can sign up through our Patreon page. The link is in the video description. Check out the Narc Survivor merchandise store where you can purchase your own Narc Survivor t-shirt or mug. The link to our Teespring page is in the video description. Narcissists are envious. This is the root cause of why they do what they do. Envy is the core emotion which is fueling them to act and behave in this way. They look at your qualities, talents and traits and compare them to theirs. If your lifestyle is superior more desirable relationship partners, more money, better material items, past experiences where they wish that was them rather than you. They compare all of this to their own lives. They then experience a feeling of lack as though they will never possess the qualities, talents or traits which you possess. They will never have that lifestyle or desirable relationship partners. They will never have that amount of money or they will never experience what you have experienced. They are pathologically envious. They observe everything that is going on in your life and then accept that none of that will ever happen for them. In their minds, they have accepted that they will never have what you had in that moment and they will never get what you got in that moment. They compare what they have with what you have and that's what triggers them to experience this emotion. As well as envy, they will also experience self-hatred, anger and maybe jealousy. They have a desire to possess what you possess they have a desire to take it away from you or destroy it completely. Envious narcissists will only try to take away or destroy something which they perceive to be valuable. This can be seen in children where they will begin to act out or have tantrums because they are envious of the other child. If you look at narcissists, this is exactly what they are doing. Whether it's overt aggression or covert passive aggressive behavior, this all comes from their pathological envy. It creates this irresistible urge within them, overwhelming and uncontrollable, where they have to do something to have some relief. If you imagine a bottle of Coca-Cola, before the narcissist witnesses something that might make them envious, they are like an unshaken bottle of Coca-Cola. But as they witness something which they believe to have a sense of superiority to them, whether it's a certain quality of yours or your relationship, or they become aware of a certain experience you have had, suddenly 
there is this continuous physical force exerted within the narcissist. The bottle of Coca-Cola begins to bubble. The narcissist then reflects on their own self-hatred and how they feel that they will never possess that quality, have that desirable relationship partner, or experience what you have experienced. And that's when the bottle of Coca-Cola suddenly pops. They become overtly aggressive or covertly passive aggressive towards you. They have to do something to deal with the intense emotions that they are experiencing upon witnessing whatever it is that has made them envious of you. This is unconscious behaviour. They are not aware of how or why they are responding in this way to you. But it does affect their emotions, actions and behaviours. It's done almost without them realising. They do not reflect on their emotions for long periods of time. That would be far too painful for them to deal with. This is why they always need a target or source of supply. Someone who they can abuse and dump all of their negativity on. They do not reflect on their envy and self-hatred for long as it's far too painful for them. So their way of dealing with this is to de devalue the target or, so or source of supply. It is their envy and self-hatred which drives them to devalue you. They have to reduce or underestimate your worth or importance. So now in their minds, you are completely worthless, beneath their consideration. They will begin to devalue and degrade you, publicly humiliate and exploit you. They want you to feel shame and embarrassment by injuring your dignity and pride. They will bait you into certain situations to entice you, attracting or tempting you by offering pleasure or advantage, followed by engaging in some form of dismissive language or behaviour, giving you put-downs and backhanded compliments, calling you all kinds of hurtful and derogatory names, weak, ugly, stupid, pathetic, useless. They will tease you through persistent, irritating or provoking. They will make you feel as though you are worthless and insignificant, inferior and unwanted. You may be left completely alone and isolated. This is what they have to do to deal with their feelings of envy and self-hatred. They have to project these emotions onto you. All of the hurtful and derogatory names, the put-downs or backhanded compliments, were designed to make you hate yourself. It was a projection of their own self-hatred. They don't reflect on their emotions as it is too painful for them. So their way of dealing with this is to project it onto you. Same thing with their pathological envy. They don't reflect on their envy, so they will project it onto you. This is where they will bait you into certain situations to entice you, attract or tempt you by offering pleasure or advantage, tease you through persistent irritating or provoking. This is them projecting their envy onto you. They are training you to feel the very emotions that they feel. They hate themselves, so they are devaluing and degrading you, publicly humiliating and exploiting you to make you hate yourself, to make you feel as though you are worthless and insignificant, when really that's how exactly how they feel. They are envious of you, so they are trying to attract, tempt or tease you, to project their envy onto you. They could be envious of anything, 
your happiness and contentment, your qualities, talents and traits, your lifestyle, relationship partners, money or material items, past experiences, usually whatever they are envious of, they will display to you. So they might start acting as though they are happy. They might mirror you and take on your qualities, talents or traits. They might try to mimic your lifestyle. They might display their relationship partner, money or material items to you. Or they might try to imitate something that you have experienced in the past. All of these things that they are displaying to you is what they are envious of. They are trying to project their envy onto you through these actions and behaviours. Whether it's a narcissistic relationship partner, narcissistic parent, flying monkeys in a smear campaign, gang stalkers. It doesn't matter how many of them there are. They are all envious of you and they hate themselves. They feel inferior to you. They may never accept or realize this, which is why these things can go on for years, even entire lifetimes. They are using you to regulate their feelings of envy and self-hatred. All of these things that they are saying about you, the way that they are treating you, it has nothing to do with you personally. They think you're better than them. That's why they have to devalue and degrade you, publicly humiliate and exploit you. They are trying to bring you down to their level. They are driven by envy and self-hatred. They will never resolve their feelings of envy and self-hatred. Instead, like parasites, they will feed off you and be dependent on you like a drug to regulate their painful negative emotions. This is why they cannot leave you alone for long, because while they are away from you, they begin to reflect on their envy and self-hatred. They need unlimited access to you, so that you are always there for them to project their envy and self-hatred on. This video should be very empowering for you. It should help to improve your self-esteem and give you more control over your life. I have spoke to many people who have experienced smear campaigns and gang stalking. They are very beautiful people who are naturally happy and contented. They had a lot going on in their lives before these people got involved. These fly monkeys and gang stalkers have this obsessive compulsive need to sabotage their lives, destroying everything good about them, leaving them alone and isolated to assume that something is wrong with them. I have spoken to many of these targets and I can assure you that there is nothing wrong with you and everything wrong with the people that are obsessively harassing and stalking you. trying to get your attention or trying to get you to react to them. This is their way of regulating their feelings of envy and self-hatred. The fact that you are the target of a smear campaign or gang stalking should tell you that you are a really amazing person. These people wouldn't go out of their way for nothing. Where would the satisfaction be in devaluing a person who they already believe to be below them? They are trying to bring you down to their level to make them feel more comfortable around you. Rebuild your life. Rebuild everything that these people destroyed. 
I recommend leaving the environment if you are the target of a smear campaign or gang stalking. These people never change. They only get worse. But you can move on and live a happy and fulfilling life. You can be yourself in a place where you will be appreciated rather than envied or hated. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be free. And you have all of the qualities and capabilities you need to make this a reality. Don't let these people weigh you down or hold you back from being the person that you are meant to be. They are using their abilities to weigh you down rather than to improve their own lives because they believe that they are not good enough. But you understand that you are good enough. You do possess the qualities and capabilities you need to make a happy and fulfilling life your reality. Which is why you don't focus on them. You do not resonate with hate or negativity. You resonate with love and positivity. Continue to love. Continue to be positive. Together we will heal and grow and become the best versions of ourselves. Thank you for watching. You could be watching or doing anything else right now. But you are watching this because it resonates with something you have experienced at some point in your life. I hope that this video has helped you to understand more about it. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. Check out our Reddit community and Narc Survivor merchandise store. The links are in the video description. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.